Hello everyone. Yesterday we had discussed about several cell organelles like our previous classes. Although till yesterday we had studied about maximum of the cell organelles like cell wall, cell membrane, nucleus, plastids, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, lysosome and peroxisome. We have studied about them in our previous classes. Okay students, now you all know the function. Let's recall the function of Golgi body. See, Golgi body is one of the most important cell organelle. It is double membranous means membrane bound and Golgi body involves uh, involved in the functioning of what in the functioning of directing the nutrients to go wherever they are needful okay and then lysosome lysosome plays an important role of collecting the waste dead parts injured part of the cells and then that lysosome is considered as suicide bag of the cell because lysosome contains all the waste means poisonous means contaminated particles if it get bursted in the cell then it may affect the life of whole cell that's why it is known as suicide bag of the cell now students let's move towards the study of next cell organelle that is ribosomes yes Ribosomes are the protein builders or we can say protein synthesizers of the cell. Yes students, see in this diagram they are showing the structure of endoplasmic reticulum and these small drops which are attached on endoplasmic reticulum are known as what? Ribosomes, yes and the and the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum where ribosomes are attached are known as rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now students we can find out ribosomes in, at different places in eukaryotes. Eukaryotes means in the advanced cells. See ribosomes are lying are floating in the cytoplasm also. This is the this is the uh, availability of ribosomes at different places in the cell. Ribosomes are the minute granules like a structure that are either attached to the endoplasmic reticulum or found freely floating in the cytoplasm. Now you have understand the working of ribosomes also. See students, now you people are confused that how ribosomes are synthesizing the protein. Although this is a long procedure which you people will study in your further classes. But right now, I just want to tell you, beta, whatever we are eating, we are eating different type of proteins. While we are eating paneer, milk products, we are getting, our body is getting different type of proteins. And if we are eating cereals, pulses, etc., then we are getting different type of proteins. Then, when our cell is getting the food for the breakdown, then ribosomes plays an important role in the breakdown of proteins only. Ribosomes haven't value for carbohydrates or fats. They are only related to the proteins now students if ribosomes are synthesizing the protein then what other organisms are doing see students endoplasmic reticulum involves is to get divided into two types smooth and rough a smooth is attached with the synthesis of lipids and rough is involved is helping ribosomes to manufacture the proteins properly endoplasmic reticulum is doing what when protein is synthesized by ribosomes then endopla then golgi body 
directing that protein to the needful places wherever it is needful the place where proteins it needful is directed by golgi body means they are giving the direction go protein go there okay in our body getting it now centrosome see this is the cell organelle which is absent in plant cell it is present only in animal cell now what is the role of centrosome see centrosome help in the cell division see cells are multiplying growth takes place it means whatever the division done by cell is handled by is cared by what centrosome centrosome helps in cell division now if it is absent in plants then who is responsible for cell division in plants see microtubules instead of centrosome are present in plant cells see now what is the difference between centrosome and microtubules centrosome are complicated in comparison to microtubules and the simplest type of centrosome see you have understand the labeling inside labeling of a cell now these organelles are also labeled inside because different type of functions are performed by them also it means there are some specific structure of these organelles also right now you people are introduced with the structure of cell only but later on in your further classes you will get introduced with the structure of these organelles internal structure of these organelles right now you people are getting the basic introduction of all these organelles okay then you people will start studying about these organelles in details in your further classes so you will get that centrosome are more complicated in structure which is present in plant cell and when the structure of centrosome is less complicated means basic structure then they are considered as microtubules and in that form they are present in plant cells only getting it students now start your class work see write down this question in your notebook that difference between vacuoles of plant cell as well as animal cell means what is the difference between the vacuoles which is present in a plant body or in the animal body vacuoles large in size small in size centrally located present anywhere in the cell mainly store water they store nutrients ions etc now the next difference will be the difference between tissue and organ number of cells are connecting together to form tissues see cell is the basic structural unit of our body and many cells are connecting together to form tissues and many tissues are connecting together to form organs the number of tissues are connecting together to form organs now damage in the tissue can be repaired by the regeneration process see tissues have a specific characteristic of regeneration see when some minute damage or injury takes place in the tissues then tissues are taking the energy from the cell organelles to repair that damage see they are taking the protein from the cell as different organelles are producing or supplying the protein then tissues are taking that protein from the cell from the cell organelles and repair that part by themselves which is known as regeneration process means regenerate themselves now repairing of tissues 
repair the organ as well see organs are made up of tissues only and if tissues are repairing themselves it means organ are itself repaired they perform relatively simpler functions see tissues are in comparison to organs are performing the simpler functions not complicated at all while organs perform complex functions see types of tissues in animals usually connective tissues muscle tissues epithelial tissues and nervous tissues while organs lungs heart kidney are the different type of organ present in our body clear you will study about epithelial tissues later on i will explain it to you connective tissues means the tissues which are establishing the connection one with the other see they are connecting like a chain like you people are holding the hands together and establishing a chain similarly these tissues are holding their end points together and establishing a connection that's why they are known as connective tissues muscle tissues the tissues which are present in our muscles nervous tissues are present in our nervous system clear everyone now this is again your class work which organ is more efficient in its functioning and why see you all know that organs are made up of many cells or one cell on the basis of their of on the basis of the number of cells present in their body they are divided into two categories unicellular or multicellular so here you have to assume yourself that whether unicellular or multicellular which is more efficient organism write it down in your notebook multicellular organisms are more efficient than unicellular organisms see when a organism is performing all the functions see it is not written over there i am just explaining this answer first see if an organism is performing all the functions with single cell the definitely the load will become increase on only single cell and work distribution is not there see if all the work everything is done by a single student then what will happen definitely that a student will be unable to do that work for long time maybe get frustrated or left the from the studies this thing will happen with the cell if a single cell is performing all the functions then definitely that cell will become tired or get injured or die early in comparison to the cells who are working with the proper work distribution understand now start writing the answer multicellular organisms are more efficient than unicellular organisms multicellular organisms have division of labor see the work is dividing it means the load will become divided different cells are doing different type of work this differentiation of cells for various works and division of labor enhance chances of survival and continuation of species yes definitely the life will become more you can change the language students you can write the answer in your own words also now on the other hand unicellular organisms perform all the functions necessary for the survival by single cell only this is very stressful and therefore longevity of such cells are limited yes if all the functions are performed by only single cell then definitely the cell will become stressed and tired and then longevity longevity of that cell will get affected now after that hot question number 2 what would have happened if a plant cell did not have a cell wall what would happen if a plant cell did not have a cell wall now answer if plant cell did not have cell wall then plants would not be able to survive in adverse conditions 
like wind, temperature and humidity. Yes students, if plant cell did not have cell wall, then plants would not be able to survive in adverse conditions like wind, temperature and humidity etc. Now students, your homework. Your homework is multiple choice questions and you have to solve all the multiple choice questions by your own. Okay? You have to solve them by your own. We will discuss the answer of multiple choice questions in our next class. Clear everyone?